There was dancing in the streets of Kenya when President Barack Obama was first elected. In his first year in office, he stopped in Ghana and said he understood this land. They shared blood. But that 22-hour visit was the last the African people have seen of him. Even White House officials say they haven't paid enough attention to the continent. You've seen significant investments in Africa from China, Brazil, Turkey, uh, and the U.S. would be ceding its leadership position in the world if the President of the United States uh, was not deeply engaged uh, in Africa. And that's what he's going to do. The White House says the President wants to talk about aid, development, and democracy. But critics say his actions have shown what he really cares about, security, and expanding the U.S. military presence on the continent. Take a look at just the publicly named places where U.S. troops are now. Somalia, Yemen, Niger, Uganda, South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the Central African Republic, Libya, and Djibouti. In many places, they are there to train African troops. Activist Nia Kwete believes that's only going to create problems. What is missing is teaching them respect for their civilian authorities so that they don't point guns at them because those are their commanders in chief and also teaching them that the ordinary citizens are not to be abused, human rights respect. He would like the president to focus on development during his three-country trip. There will be several stops where he is expected to tout his record on aid, but the facts show that his predecessor gave much more. Aid to Africa more than quadrupled during George W. Bush's presidency. In 2002, the U.S. gave $1.94 billion to the continent, but there was a rapid increase driven largely by President Bush's emergency plan for AIDS relief. By 2009, when President Barack Obama came into office, the amount the U.S. donated had risen to $8.24 billion. During the Obama presidency, the amount donated has actually decreased. In 2012, it's estimated the U.S. gave just over $7 billion. Most Americans, though, are focused less on what President Barack Obama is spending in Africa, but instead on what he's spending just to go there. The Washington Post reports the trip will cost taxpayers between 60 and $100 million. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.